instruments in this family that we can't possibly meet them all, but we're going to meet a whole lot. Randall the reindeer has been working really hard to learn to play percussion. Let's see how he and his new teacher are doing using Nerk Vision. Hi, Vincent. I'd like to introduce you to the incredible Florian Canzetti. Hi, Florian. Welcome to Meet the Instruments. Hi, Vincent. I'm excited to be here. Florian. Can you tell us a little about why you chose to be a percussionist? Oh, yes, so Vincent, I think I really like the physical aspect of playing percussion. I like to move around and dance with my instruments and express my emotions that way. Also, I like the different timbres of percussion instruments. What does timbre mean? Timbre is the sound color of an instrument. So the way it sounds, you can describe that as a timbre. Oh, so timbre means that the sound sounds a little bit different? Yeah, that's right. Or sometimes very different. Cool. So can you please explain exactly what percussion instruments are? Oh, yes, Vincent. Really anything that you can strike and hit and make a sound that way can be considered a percussion instrument. And you can hit something with your hands, for example, with drum. Or with a mallet, for example, with marimba. But also you can make sounds other ways. For example, by shaking and rubbing. You could even hit your own body and call that a percussion instrument. Listen. So you're telling me that by clapping my hands, I'm a percussion instrument? Yes, you are. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Is playing percussion as fun as it looks? Oh, Vincent, it's so much fun, but it's hard also, so you got to practice a lot, just like you would for any other instrument. Cool! There are lots of different kinds of percussion instruments. Drums are percussion instruments, right? That's right, Vincent. There's so many different types of drums. Let me show you a few. This here, for example, is a djembe, and it's from Western Africa. Especially. Or one of my favorites, this one here, doesn't that look funny? It's called an Uchiwa Daiko and it's from Japan. It sounds like this. And this big one here is called a conga. Drums come from all over the world. I love the snare drum. Can you show Vincent the snare drum? Oh yes, here's a snare drum. And the snare drum you usually play with sticks, you know why? Oh god, it's hurt if you can play it with your hands. So a snare drum is called a snare drum because it has snares at the bottom. See, these are the cables, the snares. And if you tighten them, then the sound of the snare drum is a lot different. Listen to this now. It's like a transformer drum! Oh, it's like a transformer drum, exactly. It transforms the timbre of the drum. So do all drums not have specific pitch? Or are there drums that can play specific pitches or notes? Well, all drums have a kind of a pitch. It's just not always easy to hear. The timpani, though, were designed so you can really hear the pitches very clearly, or more clearly anyways. Listen to this. Yeah! You can also change the pitch. Doesn't that sound cool? It's called a glissando. That is so awesome! How do you change the pitch on a timpani? I have a foot pedal and with that I can change the tension of the head. That changes the pitch. So when the tension of the drum head gets tighter, the pitch goes up? Exactly. Are there other types of pitched percussion? Yes, there are many different types. For example, the marimba, which is made of wood. Or this one here, the vibraphone, which is made of metal. Or, this is one of my favorite instruments here, the crotal.
I also think that you know sound really nice together. Listen to this. Doesn't that sound pretty? Wow, that sounded like outer space music. I really like the combination of those instruments. And did you notice how I played some of those notes? Yeah, you were using a baseball. I know, isn't that crazy? It really works. Yeah, it changes the timbre. You got it, Vincent. It changes the timbre of the instrument. Cool. So I noticed on the vibraphone there that all the bars are different lengths. Do the longer bars play lower notes and the shorter bars play higher notes? You've got it, Vince. Good observation. Here's my lowest note, and that's the longest bar. Here's my highest note, and that's the shortest bar. So I noticed that the sticks you used on the vibraphone and the sticks you used on the crotales were different. Are there lots of different types of percussion sticks? Oh, you noticed that. Very good, Vincent. Yes, indeed. There are many different sticks and mallets that I use. These were my vibraphone mallets. I have them nice and soft on top. I have a yarn. The ones that I use for the crotales are smaller. They have a different material on It's like hard, so I can play it. That there's metal disc of the crotales. Snare drum sticks, like it's just wood. Or timpani mallets that have a lot of felt on top to make it nice and soft. So do you have a lot of sticks and mallets? So I have lots of different mallets and sticks and it's very important to keep them organized so you can find them easily. We also get to play all sorts of fun instruments like these. Florian, will you show Vincent your cowbells? Those are some of my favorite because I'm a reindeer and I have a reindeer bell, which is very similar. Oh, I love the sound of cowbells. You know, Randall, I grew up in Switzerland and in Switzerland they have a lot of cows and it always reminds me of Switzerland when I hear cowbells. Favorite percussion instrument, Florian? Oh, my favorite? Let me show you. Well, I like all of my instruments, but sometimes I think it's especially fun to play on objects that were not even meant to be instruments and to put them all together and make music that way. For example, here I have a seed pot. And, well, I do like gardening, but my flower pots actually sound really good too. And then, ooh, this is a car brake here. Better not use that car anymore. Also, get the pretty cassava. That is so crazy! Florian, can we play our duet for Vincent? Yes, let's. Wow, that was fun! Wow, that was so awesome, you two! 
Thank you so much for showing us all of these cool instruments today, Florian. You're welcome, Vincent. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Meet the Instruments. Join us next week for our finale. We get to meet the leader of all of the musicians of the orchestra, the charismatic conductor. And all of us nerds will get to perform an orchestral piece with Portland Columbia Symphony musicians that we've met along our journey. I'm so excited! You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching. Bye! A percussion instrument is obviously the best instrument of the orchestra because you get to dance around and go crazy! <laughs> <laughs>